With Formula 1 being more popular than ever before, the pressure is on F1 23 to deliver an experience that matches the sport's interest. With the 2023 F1 season now very much underway, and the sport's regulations largely remaining the same compared to the previous year, Codemasters has been able to refine handling and physics in F1 23, and it's a big upgrade compared to last year's title. From what I've been able to experience in a pre-release preview version of F1 23, the handling and physics changes introduced for this year mean that the cars behave more similarly to their real-life counterparts, particularly in three key areas, acceleration, braking, and cornering. F123 doesn't have the same problem that EA Sports and Codemasters had with its predecessor, F122. That game was released just a few months after Formula 1 went through arguably the most ambitious transformation in the history of the sport. The cars introduced for 2022 were radically different compared to the previous year, not just in how they looked but how they behaved on track too. Codemasters engaged with real life F1 teams ahead of the launch of F122 to try and make the handling as realistic as possible. But realistically, this was always going to be a difficult undertaking. As such, there was a significant discrepancy between how we saw F1 cars behave in real life and how they behaved on the virtual track in F1 22. But with F1 23, the devs have implemented even more feedback, working with teams and drivers once again, and it feels like they've really nailed it this year. The cars are now much more stable with the traction out of slow corners being the biggest improvement over last year. Physics calculations have been updated for the slip of the tyres, and the way the car's engines deliver torque for F123 has been noticeably refined, with it now being more progressive relative to gear and throttle output, giving you more control and more confidence to push and find the limit. In F122, you had to be very, very careful with a throttle pedal, particularly out of slow corners, and it often felt like it was out to get you, waiting for any opportunity to spin you around. But in F123, the throttle is your friend and works with you instead of against you. In addition to that specific area, you can look forward to enjoy more grip overall in most corner types, with added stability in fast corners and a more predictable handling model. As Martin Brundle would say, the car feels like it's on rails. For example, Cop's corner at Silverstone is now easy flat and doesn't even need a downshift. You can feed the car in and keep your foot down, having confidence that it will stick. Essentially, these cars are now easier to drive, which is something we've heard F1 drivers often speak about in real life, as they have just so much downforce and grip. You can also hear these changes too, with the engine and gear ratios sounding noticeably different. The familiar bottoming out sound is now very present on long straights too, just like in real life. There's also a more general feel and feedback from on-track surfaces thanks to some clever improvements to make the underfloor of the cars more realistic. But that also means that curbs and rumble strips hit harder than ever. As someone who plays racing games with a dedicated racing wheel, I wasn't sure what to make of the new precision drive feature, which claims to give controller players a radically overhauled experience. And although I still prefer my trusty wheel, I will say that playing F123 with a controller is a much improved experience compared to previous titles. The steering feels more responsive and accurate, and thanks to the handling changes I've already mentioned, even racing without traction control on a controller was pretty fun. I can't say I had any issues with how F122 looked graphically, but there have been some notable improvements for F123, largely down to a new colour encoding system, which makes the game look richer overall, particularly with darker colours. It was a lot of fun playing F123, whether it was pushing the car right to the limit on a hot lap or doing a longer race stint, the additional grip on offer makes a huge difference to the experience, and crucially, brings the game much closer to real life, which is exactly what fans of the series want. In that respect, F123 is on track to deliver. I can't talk about any other mode in F123 right now, but don't worry, you'll be hearing more about that very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've been Nathan Bliss, gaming editor at Mirror Gaming. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more gaming news, reviews, and previews. Are you excited to play F123? Let us know in the comments down below. Until next time.